Jeff Farina, and this is the second edition of Gamefly Week. Now, as you may or may not know, the first games I got were Terminator Salvation and Batman Arkham Asylum. I sent both those games back after I beat them. Um, in the place of getting Terminator, once I actually returned that game, I got CSI Hard Evidence. And actually, believe it or not, the post office lost Arkham Asylum as it was being sent to Gamefly. Now, the nice thing about Gamefly is if that does happen, you are covered. So after seven days of them not receiving it, which I waited actually eight days for this one, uh, you can actually report it lost in shipping. And then what happens from there is Gamefly will mark a note to that and tell USPS, and then you can also notify USPS and say, hey, listen, you guys lost my package, just so that they're aware. And then from there, Gamefly will automatically send you the next game on your GameCube, which happened to be lost via Domus, or Domus, or Latin, however you want to pronounce it. So I'll start off with CSI. It took me about a week because I had some things going on, um, but it took me about a week to take care of that one. I got all 1,000 um, achievement points, though, to bring up my gamer score even higher. Um, decent game. I mean, actually, no. Very, very boring. Kind of some, you know, some cool puzzles to figure out, figure out in terms of gathering evidence and that kind of thing, but I honestly did fall asleep playing this game. I really did. That's not even a joke. Uh, the next game I did get, like I said, was Lost. So after I beat CSI, I sent that back, and they're still going to be getting that back. I sent that back on Monday. I'm filming this on a Thursday, so four days later. They still haven't re received it yet. We'll see what happens. This one's Lost. I just beat Lost yesterday, the day that I got it. Uh, yeah, it's extremely short. I beat it in about three hours um, over the course of the day. Got all 1,000 achievement points as well, so this is an easy game to get achievements, and there's a few secret ones that you have to actually, you know, put some effort into to find. Actually, a lot of them are like that. Uh, there's a few guides out there. I don't really like to use guides on games, though, so I kind of just trial and error, figure things out myself. The main thing with this game is if you're looking to get achievements, this has an autosave feature that you cannot turn off. So if you go by one of the achievements to take a picture, it's a lot of camera, you have to take a picture of, you know, blood stains or whatever it may be, like the TV show. If you go by that blood stain, you gotta do the whole game over again to get to that achievement, so something to keep in mind, very trial and error in that sense. This game, honestly, aside from it being short and a little frustrating with the black smoke that follows you around, I have to say, the graphics were pretty decent in this game, they put some effort into this game, they really did, I mean, I, this game really didn't cross my, my radar, I'm not a Lost fan, I just... You know, saw so this was one of the easier, easier games to get achievements. Um, kind of did want to learn the story, too, because everyone's raving about Lost. And this does teach you the story. If you already know it, it's going to be even more fun for you to play. Great graphics, great story. Um, voice acting is pretty good. I have to say, it's not that bad of a game. It's very short, but it's not that bad of a game at all. Uh, if you want, you know, something that's going to be tons of action, shooting, that kind of thing, it's probably isn't going to be for you. It's a little slow. But, not a bad game. So... Now, aside from the Gamefly games I got, I have two more things that I want to talk about real quick. Um, when I did my first video, I want to say I was around 36, 37,000 gamer score. Well, I'm now around 41,000. That's because of, you know, these games I've played, some other games. I actually got Castle Crashers. Uh, I've been playing Dante's Inferno. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm catching up on. But something that I want to bring to light is actually right here in this package. Many of you may or may not know, hopefully you, you do know, you've seen my videos, that I went to PAX East on Sunday. Uh, there was a three-day conference down in Boston, video game conference. I went to one of the days. I didn't buy a three-day pass because I didn't think I was going to want to go all three days, plus, of, you know, work, school, whatever it may be. But I got a bunch of swag. And one of the things that I showed on my swag bag video was this shirt right here. This shirt from APB. It's a neon green shirt. Um, it's for All Points Bulletin. It's a PC third-person uh, MMO shooting game, basically, which is very cool. Now, this shirt's an extra large regardless doesn't really matter what size it is. I'm going to be giving this shirt away. And I'm going to be giving this shirt away when I do my APB off-screen video footage on YouTube. So when that video goes up, make sure you watch it. Make sure you rate it. Make sure you comment on it. Um, I'm going to have the details on how to basically win this shirt in that video. So once again, that's the APB. And this is the G-Kings, actually, if you were curious. It's the G-Kings uh, shirt. So something to keep in mind that I will be doing that giveaway. So other than that, Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for more.